okay so we're going to do something really important uh, which is known as crc which is cyclic redundancy check which is a very common technique that we use in computer networks to check if in during the transmission if i have any error if i do have any error uh how do i actually detect it and ask the transmitter to resend that data so it's a very common technique uh, that is being used uh, in ethernet um, uh, all the i mean uh, so it's a very common technique so we're going to look at an example of this technique uh, in ethernet crc is known as crc 32 which is a predefined generator that we normally use uh, as part of the standard which is defined by IETF Internet Engineering Task Force we're going to take an, we're going to look at an example of this a simple example with respect to polynomials uh, instead of using um, binary which is very commonly to a uh, common tutorial on internet we're going to use polynomial to define that we're going to use polynomial to solve for CRC because CRC 32 is defined in polynomial form so that's what we're going to do uh, so the first step is uh, i'm going to pick a random generator so the generator that i'm picking i'm just going to pick up a random generator i'm going to call it g of x which is known as your generator and i'm going to pick that generator to be let's say x to the three plus x plus one all right i can convert this generator into a binary form so bit three is high that's why I have x of 3. x of 2 is low. So that's why I'll have 0. x of 1 is high. And x of 0 is high. That's how I simply convert that into binary form. I'm going to pick up also a data that I need to transmit. Let's call that d of x. Alright. This d of x value. I'm going to choose it to be. Let's say some bit value. Uh, let's say one zero zero one one zero. Let's say it's a six bit of data. How do I convert that into polynomial? Just a recap. So think of it like this: in binary, we have base of two. All right. In polynomial form, let's have a base of x. All right. So I know x raised to zero. All right. Plus let's count how many are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 so x raised to 0 x raised to 1 x raised to 2 x raised to 3 x raised to 4 plus x raised to 5 so if i count them 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 are we good so far so how do i know which one is my data uh, so i know any number raised to 0 is just that number all right so when i multiply that by zero i'll get zero so i don't need to write it because there is a zero there but i do need to write x because there is a one x raised to one is x raised to one multiply by one would give me this number back so this is going to be x plus x raised to two is high that's why i'm going to bring that x to the two x raised to three is low x raised to four is low but x raised to five is high so this is going to be my data in polynomial form so far so good okay the next thing what we're going to do is this we're going to take our g of x we're going to take our this data which is d of x we're going to multiply this data with g of x all right this is the first step we need to do so this is first step so, so what we're basically what we're doing is taking this data, which is x to the 5 plus x to the 2 plus x, and multiplying it by my generator's highest degree, which is x to the 3. When I multiply them, I would get this. x to the 3, when you have bases same and you're multiplying, you're basically adding powers. So this is going to be x to the 8 plus x to the 5 plus x to the 4 
this is going to be my data once I multiply my d of x by g of x okay now at the transmitting side we need to generate some code so this is how we are going to generate CRC code so second step is CRC code generation all right in this in order to generate this code we need to calculate something called we need to do long division and the reason the way we're going to do long division so this is going to happen at the transmitting end so everything will happen at transmitting end all right so the way we're going to do it is this we're going to take this code this data this x to the 8 plus x to the 5 plus x raised to 4 and we're going to do a long division with x to the 3 plus x plus 1 which is my generator all right so how we're going to do this long division is simple what is it that i need to multiply so i can get x to the 8 what x raised to what power would give me x to the 5 x to the 8 so I already have x to the 3 here, so I need to multiply it by x to the 5, so I'll get x to the 8, and then I'll distribute this. So x to the 5, so this x to the 5 multiplied by this would give me x to the 8. This x to the 5 multiplied by this x raised to 1 would give me x to the 6, and this x raised to 5 multiplied by 1 would give me x to the 5. All right, when we're normally doing uh, 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 long division we need to subtract them we're gonna do subtract we're gonna do subtract but we're gonna use modulo to arithmetic which is an XOR operation so here in CRC it uses something called modulo to arithmetic which is basically XOR all right which is just nothing but XOR so we're gonna do XOR so when in XOR, when you have two things are same, you get zero. And when you have two things which are different, you get one. So these two guys are same. So we're going to cross this. So we'll get nothing. X to the five is same. So all we left with the X to the six plus X to the four. What do I need to multiply x to the 3 such that I'll get x to the 6, so which is x to the 3. So I'll, I'll multiply this x to the 6 plus x to the 3 multiplied by x to the 1 is going to be x to the 4 plus x to the 3. So both of these guys will cancel out. I'll end up with x to the 3. How, till what I till what degree I need to keep doing this long division until and unless you get a smaller than this generator's value. So right now this is x to the 3, this is still x to the 3. So I need to do something to it, so I'll get a smaller than this degree. So what do I need to multiply this guy, so I'll get rid of this x to the 3, which is just going to be 1. So this is going to be x to the 3 plus x plus 1. So these guys will cancel out I'll just stop I'll just stop my long division here okay because I got this power this power which is lower than x to the 3 all right so the next step I need to do is append this with my data so the prepared data at the transmitting side is going to be so it's going to be x to the 8 which was my original data which was this plus x to the 5 plus x to the 4 plus i need to uh, append this so i'm just going to simply add plus x plus 1 all right so this was my data and this is the crc code so this is known as your crc code that we have generated I hope uh, so far so good all right so we're gonna send this data now receiver will receive a data and receiver will perform long division as well receiver will take this data which is x to the 8 plus x to the 5 plus x to the 4 plus x plus 1 
and it's going to perform the same thing it's going to do long division again with the generator which is pre-known to it with the generator which is already known to your transmitter and receiver on ethernet this is already known which is crc32 so in our example we're just using this random generator so we're going to take this we're going to perform long division so we're going to take this x to the 3 plus x plus 1 we're going to do the same thing at the receiving side what number do i need to multiply to get x to the 8 is x to the 5 so this is going to be x to the 8 plus x to the 6 plus x to the 5 we're going to do x or x or um, let me write this x or down here as well so this is just cross it out cross this guy out this guy out and I'll end up with x to the 6 plus x to the 4 plus x plus 1. What number do I need to multiply to get x to the 6? It's x to the 3. Alright. So this is going to be x to the 6 plus x to the 4 plus x to the 3. Cross these two guys out. I'll end up with x to the 3 plus x plus 1. What do I need to multiply? So I'll get x to the 3. I can get rid of this x to the 3. It's just 1. So this is going to be x to the 3 plus x plus 1. Once I do x or, I'll get this, this, this. Get 0, 0, 0. So when the receiver performs this, and at the receiving side, it gets all zeros, this means there is no error in the transmission. When the receiver performs the same thing using those CRC code that you have appended with your data, if the receiver gets all zeros, receiver will assume or receiver will say during the transmission there was no error. But anything other than that, the receiver will receive, receiver will ask the sender to resend that data again. So far, so good. So far, so good. So what is it that we're trying to say? How does CRC works? That you're going to first step, you're going to do this. You're going to generate your data. Second step, you will generate your CRC code. Transmitter will send this data to receiver. Receiver will perform long division on that data that you have sent with the appended CRC code. If you get all the result to be 0, 0, 0, it means there is no transmission error in the transmission. Unless and until if you get some other value, which means there is an error in the transmission, and it will ask the uh, sender to resend that data again. So, so this was a brief tutorial on CRC, so uh, I hope you liked the video.